sometime in January, we started hearing about this pandemic. I paid very close attention and I was scared. So um, as days went on, we realized obviously there was going to be a need for some sort of a, a shutdown. I went home on a Thursday, got home late because I worked EDP program, which is the extended day. And um, we got a text from the vice principal and it said the school was going to be closing because of the coronavirus, COVID-19, indefinitely. In all honesty, I never thought we were going back to school this year. Tuesday night, sitting on my couch, it kind of hit me. I gotta get emotional now. That we would not be back, probably. And I'm like, oh my God, what are we gonna do with these kids? And I was looking on Facebook and I saw one of those, those pages that I like. I think it was that's an appropriate, um, it's a mom and she's, she's hysterical and she, she goes live all the time. And I went, Hey, <laughs> I can do this. Hi, Shever School. How's everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. Miss Leah here. Um, as I told my own pre-K parents, we're going to try out this Facebook live thing so that we can stay in touch with the kids and with all our parents. I'm going to be trying to post things quite frequently. It might be not just me, but a variety of other teachers on here with me as well so that we can all reach out to you guys and stay connected and so the kids can see us and hopefully we can see them logging in here and there. So this is going to be a work in progress. It's a little bit new to all of us. We're all going to learn together. So stay patient and stay connected and we'll see you soon. Bye Chevrus. I needed a platform that I could access my families that was as easy as possible for them. So the next morning I got up super early and I called my principal and I said, look it, I don't want to lose contact with my kids. This is what I want to do. I want to go on Facebook. I want to do a classroom. I want to do it live so that if they log in, I can say, you know, hi Noah, hi Francesca, hi Sophia. So they, even though they, I can't see them, they can see me and they think I'm speaking to them. I set up a classroom. So originally I didn't have this. I had something I just kind of threw together, but God bless Amazon. <laughs> I started, um, I ordered this stuff on Amazon so that I could have something the kids were more used to. And um, I started broadcasting that day. By Wednesday night, we had like 80 parents on there. Everybody was just like popping on, boom, 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 boom. I do Zoom meetings with my parents and my kids. I meet with my kids first and then at the end, I'll usually um, say something to my parents. I'm in email contact with them multiple times each week. Um, this week I'll be starting a second Zoom meeting. Um, so we'll be meeting twice a week. I do letters with them. Um, we do... Um, uh, show and tell with the letter of the week. I do sight words with them because we have a certain amount of sight words, so I use sight words and index cards. Um, what else do I do with them? I, I let them socialize. I let each one of them have a chance to talk. Hi everybody and happy Thursday. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, so today I have a little lesson planned for you, but before I do that, I just want to show you on my calendar, today is a special day. Today is my friend Emmanuel's birthday. So really quick, before I do my lesson, I want to play the happy birthday song for him like we would in school. And I made it a little shorter this time. I just, I just put it at the point where the, the fun you know, jazzy one is on. Here we go. You have a butterfly house? Oh, I love it, Sophia. 
Where are you? I'm losing you. You're frozen. I'm gonna start back here again. And I'm gonna lift my layers. You just have to be patient. This was a very small flower. I should have made it a little bit bigger and that way you guys could have seen me moving it a little bit more. And then we can fold these up as well. Okay, look at that. See? And you can fluff it up as much as you want. And there's your beautiful flower. And what I would do is I would take an elastic, a hair elastic, just a regular hair elastic, and I would actually cut my pipe cleaner and I would wrap it around the hair elastic. Doesn't matter how, just wrap it around. And then we would do that and we make a corsage for mom and for mom for our muffins with mummies. Magnus and Duncan. Last year, um, after my dad died, they came in one day with these because they had told their mom that um, they thought I needed a present because they thought I was sad and they wanted to get me roses. So they made me roses and I've kept them. I like the experiment. You like the experiments? What kind of experiments? The flowers, like yeah. um, the painting flowers where you paint uh, and you make them. Did you like uh, seeing her online class? You know, we watch on the iPhone when she's yeah. live. Yeah, I did. Yeah. What do you like about that? What's your favorite part, Magnus? Sometimes can we talk to her on the phone? My favorite part was the one, the animation. Oh, when you saw her do the, the same project again, this, like the yeah. Skittle rainbow? Yeah. Show my friends what's happening with the Skittles. There's our rainbow. Isn't that so cool? I'll talk about that in a second. Duncan, what was your favorite thing about watching Miss Leah online? Uh, in my life. Speak up. The guacamole. Why don't you make guacamole on Cinco de Mayo? Yeah. Chili powder. And that would give it a little spice. But Miss Leah doesn't do spice. So I am not gonna put chili powder in there. Okay? I'm gonna say no thank you to that. I'm gonna mix it around. Okay? And then this is what I'm gonna do. Ready? I just like teaching. I like what I do. Consider myself lucky. What would you say um, to Miss Leah? If you could see her, what would you say to her? Thank you for the video. Come over here and say that. Say it into the phone. Miss Leah, thank you for the videos. Thank you for the video, Miss Leah.